So that was um, that was sift pattern, which is like super simple and pretty manual. You sort of have to um, re-input it every time, you know, and, and calibrate it exactly the way you want it. Um, so I want to show you another tool that does allow your um, patterning exercises to get a little bit more intelligent, um, which is also going to introduce us to the idea of, of Boolean logic and Boolean syntax. So um, let's go to um, set, list, and dispatch. And we're going to do this manually at first, and then we're going to set up some like cool ways of patternizing something um, that I think you guys are really going to dig. But uh, so uh, let me pull this down here. Don't need that one anymore. Um, for dispatch, we've got um, the, the thing that I want you to remember is that dispatch, because it's a Boolean function, um, it's basically like a light switch that says yes or no, yes or no. So um, you can only use it for two things. Um, so the, oh, I should mark where this came from. This is under sets list. So it's going to ask you for the list that you're filtering. That's uh, this again. And then it's going to ask you for the pattern. And right now it's saying true and false. So what's happening on the other side is there's list A that says 0, 4, 8, 12, 16. It's kind of what we already did, but it eliminates that whole null issue, right? Um, and then on the other one, it says 2, 6, 10, 14, 18. So it's basically the same thing as the first pattern, except um, we don't have any null in our list, which is actually really helpful. So when I replace this and I replace that and I disconnect this, Oh, that's right. I have um, this is supposed to go there. Sorry. There we go. Um, so now we've got, uh, let me turn these off. So I basically did exactly the same thing as my first exercise, except I did it with a light switch, right? And it just says this list here, this list there, right? Um, so the other thing we can do is change that pattern as well. So just like this one originally said, zero, zero, or um, zero, zero, one, one. Um, I'm going to take another list and plug zero, zero, one, one in, and now you'll see that that pattern automatically changes. Pretty cool, right? So same functions, uh, different sort of way of doing things and a different degree of intelligence. Um, however, I also want to show you that um, dispatch as a Boolean function can operate in two different ways. I don't know if you noticed, but when I originally had um, the values in here, it said uh, true, false, or false, true. I forget exactly. But what it's doing now is it's taking my 0, 0 and my 1, 1, and it's changing it to false, false, true, true. So that's an important understanding about Boolean syntax is that zeros and ones in a Boolean function are equivalent to, to uh, false and true. So if I went in here and I said false, false, true, true, it would work as well. Or I could say false, true, false, true, true. And then that would work. So false, true, false, true, true. Right? So um just I want it that's why I called this like a little micro thing because it's it's not really all that different than what I just showed you but I wanted you to understand how you can also do it with a more intelligent function before we move into something that that is pretty cool okay what questions do you have now you know what boolean means in a way in a programming language okay <laughs> the definition it's just a, a binary function, essentially. So like when you're looking at Boolean union, Boolean uh, difference, right? You're taking two objects and you're, you're doing something with them, right? So it's, it doesn't have to be just two objects. You can Boolean a bunch of things together in modeling language, but in programming language, Boolean is a binary function. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, basically, yeah. Okay, anything else?